Hey guys, it's uh, Marcel from the Score Esports, and we talked to Soas today about his 3-0 uh, victory against Unicorns. So I think a lot of people expected a rather close game, or maybe even Unicorns for whatever reason. But you guys just came into the game and 3-0 them. And why do you think was like you guys like showed up to play right now? Is it like just playoffs? Um, I don't necessarily think that we showed up. I think everyone from us. I mean. Talking about like the two weeks of streams and stuff like this, we expected to expected to play much better than today. So <clears throat> I think we played fine, but I mean we expect to play a lot better. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least Vizi Chachi took your spot, right? Of getting caught out for once, like you were on the other end, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, so I w we talk like a lot of like matchup stuff, right? About um, Poppy, Maokai, and especially Trundle. You want to talk about like the the trifecta maybe of top lane right now, where if you pick like a certain champion or what you should ban, like what's your general take on the Poppy Maokai situation there? I mean, everyone knows already that, for example, Poppy and uh, Trundle are like the top tier. Um, after after there's like. All champions that you can play, Maokai is pretty strong. He's like he's re really weak into like uh, Poppy and Trundle, but against the the rest of the champion, if these both are out, he's pretty good. And uh, and with the Maokai, you can play a bit of everything, you know, Ramos, other stuff like this. But yeah, there is. It depends about like picks and bans. It can always be like Poppy Trundle matchup if both teams doesn't feel like banning tops, or if if people decide to ban like Poppy and Trundle, then there's gonna be more matchup coming in, right? But mostly these two, as long as teams don't ban yeah. both of them. Okay. So um, you had like two weeks to prepare and uh, you decided to go with Power of Evil today, like all three games. Is the communication that much better that you have like confidence in him and say, hey, we just put in Power of Evil right now and we are like basically the same team? Or can we maybe expect Xpeka to play in the next rounds? Um, we started with Power due to like, um, <coughs> Picks and bands that we prepared, we felt like uh, with the picks and bands, we didn't even like, we expected different bands from them. Yeah. So it actually didn't matter, like playing power, playing uh, Peke. Mm. And since we were winning, we were like, let's just play with power, right? So we don't have to show anything with Peke. So as long as we are winning, we are like, let's just play with power. Already. Okay, so. Um you guys have to face H2K next, and today's games, you kind of gave up like huge gold leads in the early game, but then managed to like come back and through short calling, just managed to win the game. But do you think that if you play like this today, that uh, you're gonna have like a chance against H2K, or do you think you have to dramatically like improve something in the early game? Um, if we play like this, if we play like today against H2K, I, I think no, I think we'll like probably lose the series. Um, but from well, I know I think we can play like uh, much better than what we did today. So I'm not like really worried about like facing them or anything. I think we should be able to put a really good fight against them and eventually take it. So we we will see how it goes really. So I actually interviewed Crepo too, and he made up like a pretty interesting point about one three one is like the reason why certain champions don't work and. Origin is surprisingly like really good at one three one, with like double TPs with like Peck and everything. Do you think it's like coming into this meta right now? Like the meta changed a bit towards like playoffs. Do you think it's like actually like a big advantage that you guys have over H O K? I mean, it's, it was like this the whole season basically. I mean, yeah. not at the really start, but it became like this one three one because it's it's basically the easiest style to play. Like both TP with pressure and stuff like this against the mage mid, and. <coughs> What we are trying today and uh, what we tried like the past few days was like try to play around one three one, uh, play with like for example three scan and try to scan everywhere. Like we are playing with a mage, uh, we play with Val I consider Varus as a mage as well, yeah. right? But so we are playing versus a immobile champ. Uh, uh, we are playing with a immobile champion middle, so we are trying to one four. <coughs> Make a slow push on one wave, then group middle or group on one of the side, and be on the other side of the lane with TP, and yeah, just try to play another style than just one three one, which is like we we already know how to play this, so 
just try to play around this and try to find a way how to play against this double TP thingy. Yeah. How to play against double TP, of course. Um, do you think that a lot of teams maybe right now make the mistake of not controlling the side lanes properly? Like, how important right now is like side wave control actually to like win the game? Um, it's I think it's really really important early game, especially like in lane swap and stuff like this. Uh, I mean, right after lane swap, right? Um, mid mid to late is gonna is gonna depends uh, a lot about team comp and stuff like this, right? So I can't say so much about this, but obviously it's like everything is important in terms of strategy strategy wise, right? Having like good TP wards, uh, having good waves. Uh, at certain timings to contest either buff or stuff like this. It's everything kind of matter if you play against a good team and if you play against a slightly lower team, it doesn't, people might even not even realize this, you know? Okay, okay, fair enough. I guess uh, after the 3 0 victory, I don't really have much else to say other than uh, good luck in the playoffs. Good luck moving forward. And if you want to check out more coverage, uh, we have more interviews at thescoreesports.com. We also have an app. We have Twitter. Make sure to follow everything and see you guys next time.